All drugs should be legal. There we go. <laughs> Me and that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Me and you, we're making policy tonight, bud. Here's the rule, though, right? I feel like you got to have some regulations. Here's mine. No drugs until you hit 30. After 30, you get to do whatever you want. And I know I'm conveniently in my 30s right now. I understand that. <laughs> but I was terrible at partying in my 20s. I think most people in their 20s are fucking awful at it. You just don't respect drugs. You got to respect. You're too invincible in your 20s. See what I mean? Like, you got to fucking, you know. And you learn how to party. You learn how to keep it together when you get in your 30s because then you have to party in front of your friends' kids all the time. You are partying in front of children constantly. And that's why we don't see us binge drinking ourselves to death. We're not doing beer bongs and keg stands and shit. No, we tell everybody we're going to go refill the snack bowl and then we sneak off into the kitchen and eat psychedelic mushrooms like an adult. And then we play with your kids. And your kids have never had a playmate like that before. You are an unbelievable playmate. They're like, this adult's off the fucking chain. Oh, we're having a tea party? Yeah, we're having a fucking tea party. This is gonna be the most amazing tea party this little girl's ever seen. You get like an accent going, you got characters and costume changes. You're... Oh, my tea's a bit bitter. Can I have some sugar for my tea, please? And then your buddy walks in, you're like, are you interrupting the princess during her tea time? <laughs> Off with your head, and you grab that kid's father, and you drag him out into the whole front of the whole party in the backyard, and you tie him up to that chopping block, right? And then this is where you get your executioner costume on. You take your shirt off, leather pants, leather hood, eye holes cut out, and you get in that shed, and you grab that axe, because it's playtime, goddammit, and you get that axe over your head. You don't cut his head off, but if you take it as far as you can, and if that little girl's crying, you've done a hell of a job. 